Hey, I'm Tanya. My husband built this tiny home and I'm the PR person, so here we go. Here's the tiny home at the build site, waiting to get taken somewhere exciting. Welcome to a rainy Portland day. Look at this beautiful wood. Cedar shiplap. So walking in through the front door, you can see the window and the rainy Portland day and this beautiful mini split that is heating up the tiny home. And this custom stained glass window that my husband made our tin tile walls. He did matching accents on the kitchen cabinets. Um, there's, the, there's the front door with our backwards for sale sign. And then we have, I love these turquoise fridge, freezer, microwave. There's also an electric cooktop, kitchen sink, and so I assume this would go with kitchen stuff there. Plenty of space in this cabinet. Got a lot of drawers down here. Some storage space here on the wall. You can never have too much built-in storage space in tiny houses. Kind of a coat closet there, cubby. And the stairs, which are alternate tread stairs, also have built-in storage. Some of them have shelving and some don't. And going over here into the bathroom, here's the toilet. So exciting. This is the water heater. And a little bit of storage space in there. One thing you can't see on the outside is uh, how well everything is wired and plumbed. This is an advantage of having a, this is a pocket door, advantage of having a contractor build the house. They know what they're doing. Um, and I really love this shower stall. It doesn't photograph all that well, but you can see how it's shiny. See, there's me, hi. Um, and that is acrylic over waterproof backer board. Um, kind of makes you feel like you're in an ocean and it is not gonna leak. So that's awesome, you don't want leaky showers. And we're just gonna go ahead and, oh, this is the uh, remote for the mini split for the heating and cooling. So these are alternate tread stairs. I'm not wearing cute socks, but you can see these are alternate tread stairs. So you put one foot here and then the other foot on the other side. And then that way it has a rise like a normal staircase. Here we are coming up into the loft and see all interesting building sites out there. Ideally, I'm assuming you would have a nicer view. And this little built-in cubby here, shelves. And 
this beautiful view of the arched ceiling and the stained glass window from the bed. So if it weren't rainy and it were a, a nice summer day, we could open up the window. I'm gonna hurry up and shut it before it gets too cold in here. I love this vaulted ceiling. And also, the solid floor. Uh, so we avoided all kinds of laminates in here and vinyl was eschewed whenever possible. No vinyl on the windows, as you'll see, they're wood windows. So I wanna point out, um, sometimes in tiny houses, the loft ends up making the ceiling really low and I'm 5'4 and stretching up as tall as I can just reach this. You're not going to hit your head on it. Whee! <laughs> Lots of little cubbies, places to hang things. some space over here. Space over here. And there's actually a rod there in case you want to hang clothes. Assuming a love seat goes over here against this wall under the window or you get to the stairs, that's that's the space for the living area here. And then on the other side, the built-in table, put a chair behind there. 